Wolves 2, Tottenham Hotspur 3. Uh, a really interesting game, really fascinating game for the neutral, I think. For us, frustrating at times. Uh, I'm not going to put any blame at the referee because and I've seen other YouTube channels and I've heard the reaction at the final whistle to Mike Dean, but personally... He gave us two penalties. I thought he did quite a good job. I think there was quite a few, there was quite a few shouts for the uh, in the build up to Spurs' second goal that there was a foul, but there definitely wasn't. I haven't had the chance to look at it again, so I could be wrong. But there was that the balls were unfairly. The offside goal for us, by all accounts, it was onside. Again, I haven't seen it, um, but those sort of things happen in a season. You have decisions that go for you and against you. The Willy Bolly handball goal against Man City, another referee would have seen that and it would have been disallowed. Those decisions even themselves out over the season. So I'm not going to spend too much time talking about Mike Dean. I think he was fine. In particular, the second half, he was letting the game flow really, really well. But to focus on Spurs first, I thought that they were superb. I think they were the best team that we've seen at the Molyneux for a long, long time. They just look... even. We dominated the first 15, 20 minutes or so and we looked comfortable. I think we looked better in possession than Tottenham and we looked as if we were the most likely to score. The difference is that when Tottenham had possession for five or six seconds, you thought that they could make something happen. It takes us a lot longer to build up uh, play in midfield and create chances down in the in the wing areas. That's something that we need to improve on. You, you could just tell it would take seconds for Tottenham to score and it take us a lot longer. Harry Kane as well is what he's got one of the fiercest shots I've ever seen. It's the first time I've had got to see him uh, in real life and it, his back lift is about that far but the pace and the power that he generates on the ball is superb. The first two goals again conceding quite in quick succession just gave us such a long way to come back into the game. Um, I don't know whether Patricio could have done better with the first goal than it go through his legs, although at that sort of close range, it's difficult to really put any blame on him. Uh, I thought Johnny was poor. Uh, quite a few points yesterday, um, in particular the first goal, just letting Lamella get past him, get behind him. You could just tell that the, the goal was coming in. And then the second goal, the way that they moved the ball so quickly and then putting the ball across, I don't know whether Cody or Bennett or whoever lost their man, uh, Mora, the back post, Disappointing to go in two 0 down at half time, considering that we played really well for the first half of the first half. Again, just that little spell let us down. Then in the second half, once we went three 0 down, uh, which was unlucky. I think R Patricio did so well to save the first shot from Kane. But he just knew that if Kane was going to get to the ball with the, for the second chance, that he was going in, which uh, was a shame, really, because at three 0 then you think the game is over. But that's where Wolves sort of raised their game then and decided to start really coming out and playing. And the difference was Morgan Gibbs-White. And I would really, really, really push to see him start now on uh, Sunday against Arsenal because we're expected to lose that game as well, man. So why not give him a go in the team? We've uh, Somebody was talking about Marcus Rashford at Man United the other day and he's played 140 times for Man United at the age of 21. That all came from injuries uh, a couple of years ago now in the Europa League and he was able to play and he scored in his debut and stuff like that and he just built from there and he was very fortunate to have 25 England caps at the age of 21. is superb. Gibbs White needs a run in the team like that and I think he's deserved it from the performance that he put in yesterday. He was direct with his running, he was confident with on the ball, he was beating men, he put an excellent ball through for Costa which he should have put away. Uh, so I would push for him to start. I'd also push for Vinagre to start at left back. The youth and the energy that those two bring and the forward thinking that we don't really have a lot of in the midfield area, I think would benefit our team greatly. And against Arsenal, like I just said, a team that we're expected to lose against, let's go for it. Let's try and make something happen. If we lose 3-0, well, that's expected anyway, isn't it? So, but yeah, The reaction when they went 3-0 down was superb. And... Yes, there were two penalties, but I thought Bonatini did really well in the build-up to those um, those moments as well. He uh, got in front of Trippier, didn't he, for the first penalty. And then you could tell, uh, I don't know who it was who gave away the second penalty, but you could tell that it was coming. He just lost his foot in a little bit. And I think, was it, was it Jimenez? <laughs> Sorry. Just got in front of him and uh, was pulled down then. 
And I thought it was interesting that we had two different penalty takers for the two penalties, uh, and both superbly taken penalties as well. We've seen Neves miss a couple in his time at Wolves already, and then Jimenez is the Mexican penalty taker. So I was quite confident when he when both of them stepped up. Really, I thought that we were we were doing really well at that point. I did feel as if there was a chance for the equaliser, but Spurs changed the way that they were playing. They brought on um, Davidson Sanchez to just shore up things at the back a little bit and they were able to see the game out. But I think every every Wolves fan left with their heads held high really. I think at 3 nil down we thought that it was probably our worst performance. Well actually well, it wasn't. It was just there were just times where we just weren't clinical enough and we weren't positive enough in the final third. And I don't know what it'll take, but I think we just need to be more confident and more bold and play like we're three nil down every game because that's the most attacking and the best I think that we've played. But yeah, overall, second half, in particular the second half of the second half, and the first half of the first half, uh, Wolves were very, very good and against a top Tottenham team, a really, really good Tottenham team, who I expect will be well, I predicted them to win the league at the beginning of the season and I they're the I to me, they're the best team that we've come up against this season. I think they're better than Man City when we played them. Perhaps because it's you know later in the season now and teams are in their stride and whatever Man City would probably blow us away three or four nil now. But I don't know. Tottenham looked excellent, really, really good. Let me know your thoughts of the game in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you for a preview of the Arsenal game later in the week. All right, see ya.